The Queen slams door on Harry's controversial film crew plans prevents devastating consequences. Prince Harry will visit the UK with a camera crew until later this year to film his new Netflix documentary about the Invictus Games, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke of Sussex, 36, who is currently living in his $14 million mansion in Santa Barbara, announced earlier this year he is making a series for the streaming service which will follow competitors around the world training for the games at The Hague called Heart of Invictus. And sources have now revealed Prince Harry is due to return to the UK for the documentary in November to visit an army base before meeting the Queen, 95, told, Our understanding is that the Duke of Sussex will be accompanied by a small film crew in order to allow the public to see the hard work involved in planning these games. Speaking of the filming with Christine Lampard on today's Lorraine, royal expert Russell Myers said, Imagine him popping up outside Buckingham Palace with a camera crew? Will we see Harry back with a camera crew in tow outside the palace? You never know. Nothing is off limits with Harry. It has been reported Prince Harry would fly from California to the UK to film the upcoming documentary. Sources said he would take a film crew employed by Artul Productions to visit participants at Stanford Hall, the Army's Rehabilitation Center for Wounded Soldiers. He will then pay a visit to his grandmother, the Queen, before flying back to his home in California. Appearing on Lorraine today, Russell said, he's obviously signed a big money deal with Netflix. One of these documentary ideas that he came up with was having a camera crew create a documentary about the Invictus Games, the fantastic sports event which he created in 2013 which have gone on to be a huge success. It's a fantastic initiative for injured servicemen and women of getting out with the power of sports and a global phenomenon. So, will we see Harry back with a camera crew in tow outside the palace? You never know. Nothing is off limits with Harry. The documentary Heart of Invictus is part of a £100 million deal struck with streaming giant Netflix last year. It will be directed by a British documentary Orlando von Einsiedel, whose team won an Academy Award for their short film The White Helmets and a BAFTA for Virunga, another documentary, set in the Congo's Virunga National Park. A source said, the Duke of Sussex will want to make sure we are ready as the last games were cancelled because of Covid. We are hoping that the situation in April next year allows the games to go ahead as planned, in Holland. But some royal experts have warned that nothing is off limits with the Duke, who could try to film the private meeting. Royal expert Russell Myers told Lorraine, imagine him popping up outside Buckingham Palace with a camera crew? Will we see Harry back with a camera crew in tow outside the palace? You never know. Nothing is off limits with Harry. He's obviously signed a big money deal with Netflix. One of these documentary ideas that he came up with was having a camera crew create a documentary about the Invictus Games, the fantastic sports event which he created in 2013 which have gone on to be a huge success. It's a fantastic initiative for injured servicemen and women of getting out with the power of sports and a global phenomenon. Harry will be appearing on camera for the doc, as well as being an executive producer, working with Orlando von Einzito. The couple signed the multi-million dollar deal last year and planned to produce documentaries films, and kids' programs. The partnership, titled Archul Productions, was one of the first they agreed to after stepping down as senior members of the royal family that March. Meghan will also be an executive producer on an animated show called Pearl. The news comes as sources also claim that Meghan and Kate have been getting along well and have even offered the Duchess of Cambridge her own Netflix stock. Harry previously explained the Netflix and Spotify deals in his bombshell Oprah interview by saying, my family literally cut me off financially, and I had to afford security for us. Chief executive of the Invictus Games, Dominic Reed, added, We're very excited about the opportunity to shine the global spotlight of Netflix on the men and women that we work with, in order to ensure that even more people can be inspired by their determination and fortitude in working towards their recovery. This partnership will also bring in significant funding to the charity. We are extremely grateful to our founding patron for his continued efforts to support the military community, and for making this partnership happen. The Invictus Games is a biannual sporting event created by Prince Harry for injured military personnel. Founded in 2014, the sporting event sees wounded, injured or sick armed services personnel and veterans compete in nine sports. The 2020 event, which was postponed due to COVID, and has been delayed yet again postponed.